Hello, my colleagues all over the world. Today I'd like to talk about water clouds. Water clouds can be produced by a lot of online digital tools like WordArt, WordSet, Wordle. There is a very important note about this. Where the clouds give greater prominence to words that appear more frequently in the source text. And this will help me later when I try to activate my students' smart about the text and increase their comprehension and prediction of the text itself and the content and the ideas that are presented in it. We have many online digital uh, websites or digital tools that can be used to generate uh, word clouds like wordr.com, wordset.org, worditout, wordl.net, and we have more and more and more examples like this. How can I create a word cloud? Let's see. We're going to do an example with wordr.com. All what you need just to type wordr.com in your browser, and then you go to create now. And then create. The first step is you click import, this icon here. When you click it, it generates a text box for you. Here, you can type or copy and paste any text that you want. I have already prepared something, so this is a text, for example, and then I click Import Words. Remember, after each option that you're going to choose, you have to click Visualize. When you click Visualize, it takes some time to load, and it generates a template for you. But this template can be modified and change it according to your preference. At the bottom left corner here, you have some options which help you to modify this word cloud. Let's start with shapes, for example. I don't like the shape and I want to change it. So, for example, let's click nature here, any uh, choice. So choose this, for example, apple. And remember, after activating or choosing any feature, you have to click Visualize again. Now I have a template here. I have a one here. I don't like this, uh, this font, so I want to change the font. Click Fonts. And then choose another font, and then Visualize. OK. We have also shapes, we have fonts, we have layout and we have style. Let's click, I don't like this uh, style, for example, I want to make something random, so I click here, I click visualize, and check the difference here. Now I have a different one. And the style, for example, you can check here the difference, as you can see, the difference in colors, one of the good features about it, if, for example, this gulf is the main word that was repeated many times, but I don't like this word or I don't want this word. I want to give more prominence or attention to another word. For example, up or, for example, uh, let's say country. I want to make it bigger. Can I control this? Yes. We go to the text itself again. So I go to words and then I click import. And I want to type, for example, uh, famous. If I want to give more prominence or I, I want to present famous. So I, I just repeat it many times. I Then I copy and paste it many times. Then I click import. And then remember to click visualize after that. And notice the difference that will happen here now. Now famous was much bigger with more prominence, and this will help me to present it more effectively. And if I want to change it in other words to make it much bigger, I have to copy and paste it many times in the text box, firstly, before I generate the word cloud. So after I finish, I can download this word cloud as a picture by clicking download here, and it will be saved to your computer. You can print it, you can copy and paste it in a worksheet, you can insert it in your PowerPoint presentation. Here are some suggestions of how to use word clouds in your classroom. Previewing texts. 
especially when you are dealing with reading or listening lessons, and you want to encourage your students to predict the content of the lesson itself, and this will help them later with uh, reading for just or reading for details uh, exercises. Writing stories, you can just make a word cloud of five to 10 words and ask your students to generate or create stories using these words. Reviewing vocabulary of a previous lesson by presenting the vocabulary in a word cloud and checking the students' understanding of the meaning by asking them direct questions about the meaning or asking them to write sentences using these words. Whole class vocabulary assessment, again, it's about reviewing vocabulary. Identify challenging words prior to a lesson. This will help me a lot, especially in the presentation stage in which I'm going to present the new vocabulary to my students, which words I'm going to focus more and which words I'm going to skip so I can save time and effort. I think you can add more to this list, so I welcome any suggestions in the comments below. When can I use word clouds? At the very beginning of the lesson, as a warm-up activity, during the lesson itself, to bring the monotony of the class and to change the activities, Near the end of the class, to recap and to check the retention of the new presented vocabulary or verbs at any time of the lesson to enhance discussion. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Here are my contact details. I welcome any comments, suggestions, or questions. Have a great day.